Hello everyone, I am Shruti Goyal and today we are going to learn about SITS filter. Through this presentation, we are going to learn about SITS filter, its construction, working, advantages and disadvantages. A SITS filter, also known as a SITS clarifier or SITS depth fire, is a type of filtration device used in various industries including pharmaceuticals, food and beverage and biotechnology. It is named after its inventor, Richard SITS. This filter consists of multiple layers of filter media, typically cellulose or diatomaceous earth, stacked in a cartridge or module. SITS filters are primarily used for clarification and fine filtration of liquids. They are capable of removing particles, debris and microorganisms from liquids and making them suitable for applications where high quality filtration is essential. The filter media is a SITS filter trap imp impurities as the liquid flows through, leaving behind a clarified product. These filters are popular for their ability to achieve high levels of clarity and microbial reduction in liquids. They are commonly used in the production of pharmaceuticals, wine, beer and other beverages as well as in bioprocessing and water treatment applications. SETS filter come in various configurations and sizes to meet the specific requirements of different industries and processes. They are a valuable tool in maintaining product quality and ensuring the safety of liquids used in various applications. A SETS filter typically consists of the following construction elements. The first one is filter housing. This is the outer structure that holds all the filter components. It can be made of stainless steel plastic or other suitable material. The housing has inlet and outlet ports for liquid flow. The second one is filter media. Filter media are the heart of SETS filter, responsible for capturing impurities in the liquid. These media are often filter sheets or pads which can be made from cellulose or diatomaceous earth. They are layered inside the housing. Next comes support grids or spacers. In some SETS filter designs, support grids or spacers may be used between layers of filter media. These maintain even spacing between filter sheets and aid in proper filtration. Now fourth comes gaskets or o-rings. To ensure a tight seal and prevent leakage, gaskets or o-rings are used at various points within the filter housing. Proper sealing is crucial to maintain the integrity of the filtration process. Next are bolts and nuts. These are used to secure the housing and maintain the compression on the filter media. Even tightening of bolts ensures uniform pressure across the filter sheets. Next are inlet and outlet connections. These are the ports where the liquid enters and exits the filter. They can be connected to pipes, hoses or sanitary fittings depending on the application. Seventh ones are pressure gauze. A pressure gauze is often installed on the filter housing to monitor the pressure drop across the filter. This helps operators determine when the filter media needs replacement or cleaning. Next comes gasket lubricant. In some cases, a lubricant may be applied to the gaskets or o-rings to aid in sealing and prevent sticking. Ninth ones are pressure relief valves. These are optional. These are used for safety purposes, especially in systems where high pressure can build up a pressure relief valve may be included to prevent overpressure situations. The tenth and last one is, it is also an optional instrument. It is named vent and drain connections. Some sets filter may have additional connections for venting trapped air and draining liquid during maintenance. Also, proper cleaning and sanitization of all components including the housing, filter media and gaskets are essential to prevent contamination of the filter liquid and also Regularly monitoring the pressure gauze and adhering to a maintenance schedule is crucial to ensure the filter's efficiency and longevity. Now, let's understand the working of SETS filter. The first mechanism is filtration mechanism. SETS filters typically consists of a filter medium, often made of diatomaceous earth or cellulose with a charged surface. When a fluid containing suspended particles is passed through the filter media, the particles come in contact with the charged surface. The second one is electrostatic attraction. Because the filter medium has charged surface, it can attract and hold particles with an opposite charge. Many suspended particles in fluids may carry a slight electric charge due to their composition. 
when these charged particles encounter the oppositely charged filter medium they are attracted to it and adhere to the surface next is depth filtration sets filter use depth filtration which means that particles are trapped not only on the surface but also within the porous structure of the filter medium the charged surface helps in capturing particles on the outer layer while the electrostatic attraction allows for the retention of smaller particles within the filter matrix next is efficiency the combination of surface charging and electrostatic attractions enhances the filtration efficiency of sets filter it enables the filter to capture a wide range of particle sizes and provide better retention of fine particles compared to standard mechanical filters next is cleaning and regeneration over time the filter medium may become clogged with captured particles the electrostatic attraction can also make it more challenging to remove particles during cleaning or regeneration however this process allows for the removal of contaminants from the filter medium making it reusable set fill sets filter while offering various advantages have some disadvantages as well we will learn about that but first learn about but first we are going to learn about the advantages of sets filter the various advantages of sets filter are effective particle removal consistent performance wide range of applications scalability ease of use regulatory compliance and cost effective the various limitations of sets filter are as follows the first one is limited filtration sizes sets filters may not be suitable for applications that require extremely fine filtration as they are typically used for coarse to medium filtration next is pressure drop depending on the filter design and the level of contamination sets filters can create a significant pressure drop which may require additional equipment to maintain the desired flow rate third is maintenance requirement regular maintenance including filter replacement and cleaning is necessary to ensure consistent performance this can add to operational costs next is particle size variation they may not be as effective at removing particles with a wide range of sizes especially when compared to more specialized filtration methods next is product loss during filter replacement or cleaning there may be some product loss which can be a concern in applications where product recovery is critical sixth is com chemical compatibility sets filter may not be suitable for all types of liquids or chemicals as compatibility with the filter materials must be considered next is initial investment depending on the size and configuration the initial investment in sets filter equipment can be relatively high eighth one is flow rate limitation the flow rate that sets filter can handle are limited so they may not be suitable for high flow applications without multiple filter units and the last one is waste generation disposal of used filter media can be a concern especially in applications with hazardous material it's essential to carefully assess the specific filtration needs and compatibility with sets filter to determine if they are right choice for a particular application In some cases more specialized or advanced filtration methods may be required to over